If you watch this video, I'll tell you how I gained over 1 million subscribers in less than one year by using this one simple strategy, so stay tuned. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Johnny Q here. This is gonna be a little bit different than the normal firearms content that you usually see and hopefully that's okay. And I'm actually using a new camera which hopefully doesn't mess up the quality too much from what we're used to before. But I kinda like this, you know, it's kinda following me. I like it. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 for those of you who want to know. But anyway, uh, thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Basically, what I wanna get down to is that using YouTube is a great way to becoming a full-time YouTuber, obviously. Make videos, make YouTube shorts, create content, edit the content, and upload the content. Like, that's the formula, right? But I had found something in the last year and a half to two years that really just bum-started and just rocketed my YouTube career, and that's YouTube Shorts. Now, if you're not using YouTube Shorts, I don't know what you're doing. Now, here's the thing. People will say, if I use YouTube Shorts, I can you know, use my long-form content, strip that down or cut it into pieces, edit those little pieces into videos, and then upload those to Shorts. Yeah, that you could do that. That is a... That is a fine strategy, something that is just okay. Like in my opinion, yeah, it can work. And for other people, it has worked very well. But here's the kicker that I have found in the last two years. Uh, and before I get into that, let me tell you this. While I was a cop, I was making content like literally 24 seven. And that's a whole different story I can go into. Sorry, that's a whole different story I can go into and get into. But I was working 12 hour shifts, making content sleeping very little, going and doing 12-hour shifts as a cop. Ask my wife. It is pretty crazy. All to get to this point, which I'm now doing full-time, but I was doing YouTube shorts. And so here is the thing. Here's how I think about creating content on YouTube. On YouTube, YouTube, not only long form, but using YouTube shorts as, you know, to my, to my advantage. And here's the thing. I treated or still treat YouTube Shorts like its own entity, okay? We know we have YouTube, we have TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Meta, which previously Facebook, for those of you who don't know, but we have all these platforms, right? And I decided to make YouTube like my main thing because I wanted to go all in on YouTube. But the thing was YouTube Shorts, I, have, I had realized at that time, was giving me such big momentum, like heavy push in the follower count, in the subscriber count, in the view count. I was receiving like 100x comments. The likes were through the roof. I mean, everything was just going amazing because of YouTube shorts. But I was just kind of, you know, I was grabbing my phone, kind of making content off my phone with no audio. It was just like through the iPhone audio and video. And I thought, man, what would happen if I actually utilize YouTube Shorts and think of it as its own thing, like make content for YouTube Shorts. And you're like, well, yeah, no duh, Johnny. But I'm not saying like from my long form content, I'm specifically talking about creating content for YouTube Shorts, like film in vertical and edit in vertical, only make content in vertical and not horizontal. And I didn't really talk to anybody about it. I just kind of did it. And I realized that, man, people were way more engaged. People were willing to watch a whole 50-second video, one-minute long video on YouTube Shorts because I was now thinking of how my viewers or how a viewer would see my content or any piece of content on YouTube Shorts. It, it's kind of like... When you go to TikTok or Instagram or any literally social platform, you're watching like this. You're not watching like this for the most part. Now, if you're watching a long form YouTube video or it's a longer video on, on Instagram, then yeah, you'll flip your phone if you want to, but like you're invested into that. If you're watching Netflix, you know that it's this way, it's horizontal. You're invested into it and you're going to watch it. But most people watch text phone call, FaceTime, like this. So why wouldn't I, you know, also, YouTube is giving me this platform of shorts. Let's utilize that to my advantage. I know that I can film awesome content. 
I'm somewhat funny, somewhat engaged in what I'm doing here. And, and, and there kind of became this whole like idea of, yeah, let's film YouTube shorts vertically for the vertical platform that YouTube is now saying, hey, we're putting money into this, go do. And so it kind of was like, yeah, that makes sense to me. And so I started to do it and do it and create content. And after I would say eight months, it just was like, I was, I think, gaining like 10,000 subscribers per day and my content was just blowing up, which was awesome. And so that simple trick taught me that not only can you go viral in YouTube shorts and TikTok, but also if you treat the platform and you really are into the analytics and do your research on what YouTube is trying to give you and they're saying, hey, we're giving you this, go do it, like try that. So here's my hot take. I think YouTube shorts are here to stay, which actually today, no, tomorrow, October 15th on Tuesday, or which today if you're seeing this, uh, they're switching from one minute videos uh, as called to be shorts, but now they're going to be a minute to three minutes long and they're still gonna be considered shorts, which is a huge deal, which even more so a reason to film vertically on your phone, right? Think about, think about it like this. When you go to film on TikTok or have a Instagram reel, you're going to be filming like this for the most part. Like most people are wanting a selfie like this or they're following you like that for the TikTok, for a short, for the reel. So that is kind of, that's what I've done. I brought together my experience in marketing, my knowledge in kind of video making, creating and editing, and put it all together with social media to really kind of the best bang for my buck. And so what I'm saying is if you are a creator, if you're an aspiring creator and you want to do this full time, I think utilizing YouTube shorts, aside from taking long form and breaking them down into little edits into YouTube shorts, which by the way, is still a great strategy. Like that's a strategy. And I'm not saying mine is the strategy, but it's it's also another strategy, right? Start making... Uh, videos, your like your own videos in in the whole creation and idea of the entity of the YouTube Shorts. Like make YouTube Shorts its own thing aside from your long form, right? And so, I feel like a lot of people aren't talking about this, and I, I want to talk more about this. So, if you like this kind of content, if you like this one on one feel, kind of in in the office here, let me know. Because I definitely want to put out like creator tips and how to for creators, maybe a beginner's guide, uh, how to film yourself, like stuff like that, right? That I had struggled when I first started out on YouTube, but now I'm kind of like a pro, like I'm a master of YouTube shorts. Uh, and so I really want to share my knowledge to people and, and, and do that. So if you want to learn more about that, please comment down below uh, and maybe the next video will be something like this. So uh, of course, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And if you made it this long, congrats. Consider subscribing. And with all of that being said, I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.